Hi everybody, it's Amy Lane, The Literate Yogi, and today I am going to share with you some of my earlier paranormal experiences. Okay, so I'm going to share with you, I'm going to start sharing with you some paranormal experiences that I have had. And um, just so you know, like this is kind of like a kind of a, a big reveal for me. I don't, I don't usually talk about it to people unless I can trust them and, um, and they maybe have had shared something with me and then I'm sort of able to open up. But I, I just feel like um, it's nothing for me to be um, ashamed of and um, it's actually something that I feel a lot of people experience. Maybe they don't even notice that, that they're experiencing them or maybe they're in a very similar you know place that I was in where I just didn't really, I was afraid to share these kind of things. So, um, so let me begin. So um, my mother passed away when I was nine years old and um, her passing was uh, a pretty, um, it was a pretty difficult passing for her. Um, she was very ill, um, but it sort of happened kind of like, like quickly, like she was, she was sick and then she went to the hospital and she really lost her will to live and then she passed away. And it was kind of like a really awful passing for her. Um, she was just not well in, in, in all aspects of, of her being. So, um, I don't know. I never, I, I was, I was never like afraid of death. Um, and it wasn't like a really like, I mean, like, of course I was, of course I was sad, but it was almost sort of like, I was like relieved for her. I mean, being a young child at nine and sort of understanding this is kind of an amazing, amazing part of the story anyway. So um, at about 10, I would say probably about, um, about 11, um, or maybe even a, a little earlier than that, I started hearing my name being called and it was only in my house and it was only like when I was alone of course and so it was like Amy like that like it was always a whisper or maybe a little louder than a whisper and it was Amy and it was clear it was very very clear and it was not in my head it was definitely like in my environment and of course, you know, I'd be like, you know, you know, but not fearful, but just kind of like, did I just hear my name? Like, just, you know, because that's what we do. We always second guess ourselves if we don't understand something or if it just doesn't seem plausible, then I must be hearing things. So, um, so I would hear, you know, my name being called and, and it happened, it like happened so often that I would be like, what? Like, okay, like if you're like, you have my intention, so go ahead and like say something. And that didn't happen. So then um, that happened for, for, for a while and really happened, you know, pretty much all, all the time when I was in the house. Um, so then another thing that happened, it's sort of, um, it would do things like around the house. Um, so I remember um, being on the phone and I was talking to my friend, I'm gonna mention my friend's name, Chrissy, because I remember this, like it was so clear. And um, back in the day when we had phones that had the long cord, right? That went, you know, all the way from the phone, all the way to the receiver. And so um, I was talking on the phone and I was sitting on the stairs and I, uh, the main stairs of the house. And on the bottom of the stairs is the front door. I can see the front door. And we had a, one of those chain, you know, link locks and it was unlocked. And so I'm talking to my friend, uh, Chrissy on the phone and all of a sudden the chain starts to go like this. 
back and forth, back and forth. The door was closed and there really was no reason for it to start swaying back and forth. And so I'm watching it, <laughs> I'm watching it and I'm like, again, am I really seeing what I'm seeing? I can't possibly be seeing what I'm seeing. And I'm watching it and then I, you know, I'm on the phone with my friend and I said, huh, I said, the chain on the door has just started to sway. And we were just kind of like, oh, that's cool, whatever, you know, and we just kind of like went on our way. Um, so it would manifest uh, sort of sort of like that. And, and it, was, it was something that was kind of like, um, almost like kind of like gaining its, gaining its, its energy. Um, so I would see um, little things like that. I would also notice um, shadows off in my peripheral vision. And of course I would look and nothing would be there. Um, now, just so that you know, I never ever said anything to anybody about this in my family because my family members thought I was a little nutty to begin with. So um, it just really wasn't anything that I wanted to, to share. Um, I'll add another um, experience. And this was really early on. I was um, sleeping in my bed and I was sleeping on my stomach and I could feel someone put their hand on my back and it wasn't menacing or anything like that. It was just like, just, uh, just a feeling like somebody was putting their hand on my back. Um, was I freaked out a little bit? I mean, like I froze and I was like, oh my gosh. And you know, and of course as I'm, again, I'm same thing in my head going, am I really feeling this? Am I really feeling this? And then I eventually moved and then the feeling went away. So, um, yeah, so those are sort of like the, the beginnings of the paranormal um, activity that I experienced at a young age. And as I grew older, um, it got, um, it, it got the energy kind of grew and it would do other things. So I'm going to share that in some of the other things in my next video. So if you have experienced any paranormal experiences as a child or as an adult, um, I would love to hear your experiences. You are not alone. You're not crazy. Um, there's a lot of us out there. And um, as far as I'm concerned, I feel like those experiences to me um, are, are truly a gift. So, so that's it. So I hope you enjoyed this video and look for the next one.